Now recently on the channel, I tested out a pair of trail running shoes that came with a dial closure system instead of your more sort of traditional type of running shoe laces. I was actually very surprised with how well that system worked and gave me a very precise fit, great lockdown around my midfoot, but it also made it very easy to make small adjustments to that fit on the fly. So when I was contacted by a new brand, One Call, and asked if I'd like to test out their custom dial closure kit, this has been designed to be fitted by yourself, but it's also compatible to lots of different types of shoes. I was very excited to give them a go. So let's dive in and find out all about this new custom dial closure system from Onecall. Welcome back everyone, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fit and well out there in YouTube world and thanks for joining us for another video. Now if you've been following the channel, you'll know that we're recently back from an incredible trip over to Italy to take on the challenging but stunning Lake Como Trail 30k. There's already a couple of videos up on the channel. We did a travel vlog following our journey over to Italy and I've also done a race kit video. So I'll leave links in the description below if you want to go and check out either of those videos and there will be a full race day video on the channel very soon and you definitely want to keep your eyes open for that one because the route was far more technical than we could have ever imagined we had some very steep ascents and some super steep very technical descents uh, on uh, some very tricky muddy slippy underfoot conditions so the video really is worth a watch because we had lots of fun and games along the way. But back to today's video and let's dive into the one called Custom Shoe Dial Closure System in a bit more detail. Uh, it's actually just launched on Kickstarter and they should have product to send out to customers August this year. So what I'll do is I'll link that Kickstarter in the description below in case you want to check out what the brand's up to in a bit more detail. Firstly, let's open the box and see what we get inside. So the first bag out contains two of the dial cord systems, obviously one for each shoe. We've got our system in the clear color option, but there is actually four colorways available. So you've got black, white, clear, and tinted. I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that we've actually got two of the one called custom closure kits to give away to one lucky viewer. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video where we'll give you all the details you need to enter that giveaway. Next bag out contains the guide. So we've actually got doubles and singles in the bag and these actually attach to your existing lace eyelets in your shoes. So these allow the, the cords to pass through when you're tightening or loosening that dial system, making sure that you don't cause any damage to the upper of your running shoes. Finally, you get a very simplified set of instructions giving you a sort of step-by-step -step guide of how to install the one call kit. I've got to be honest, it looks very straightforward, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's pop these into a pair of my running shoes and see how it goes. When it came to installing my custom closure kit, the first thing I needed to do was obviously remove the existing shoelaces from the upper. Now I've tried similar dial closure systems in trail running shoes before, so I thought I'd choose a road shoe this time round, and in particular, my pair of Endorphin uh, Speed 3s. These days running shoes come in lots of different styles and designs, so you do need a shoe that has the more sort of traditional style lace eyelets. So for example, this pair of Saucony uh, Exodus Ultra 2s has a kind of cord system for the laces, so you won't be able to attach the one called guys needed for the dial system. Once I'd removed all the laces, I found it really easy to attach the guides and I actually went for the double guides because they seem to fit in the Endorphin Speed 3s really well. You do, however, get those single guides as well if you do have a slightly different lace eyelet setup. So literally insert the guides through the eyelets, making sure that they're pressed all the way through and that the guide legs are facing outwards. Once I'd got those guides attached, they really did feel very secure in those lace eyelets and I moved on to the next step. So so the guys were in place and now it was time to install the one called dial system and again very easy to attach literally just peel off the back in which can be a little bit tricky because it is very very sticky indeed but once i got the backing off it was ready to put in place on the tongue of the upper 
You've just got to make sure that that dial is parallel with the guides at the top of the eyelets. Apply some pressure and the dial was attached. Literally as simple as that. And when I say attached, I really mean attached. And I'm not sure what the brand use on the back of the dial, but it is incredibly sticky and it gives you a really good fixing. It was now time to work the cord through the guide. So I just pulled up on the dial to release it and loosen the cord off, giving me enough slack to pull the cord through the guides. To start with, this was a little bit tricky again because you've got to pull that cord quite tight so that it clicks nice and securely into those guides. Once I'd done it a few times, I got the hang of it. And when it came to pulling the cord through on the second shoe, it was really straightforward and didn't take me long to do. So you can see it was pretty simple to attach the one call closure kit to my endorphin speeds. And if I'm honest, it was actually a lot easier than I thought and it fitted a lot better. So all that was left was to pop the shoes on, tighten them down with their new custom dial closure system and take them outside for a run. Okay, so that is the test run done. And I've got to say the one called Dial Custom System has worked really well, very comfortably in the shoe, didn't notice it at all. And I felt really well held around that midfoot, but it felt like I didn't have to over tighten the shoe. So thumbs up so far, but let's get back to the studio and we'll break it down in a bit more detail and give you a full conclusion. Well, that was nice and we're having some great weather here in the UK at the moment. So it was awesome to be outside in a short sleeve tee running in that beautiful evening sunshine. And it was also my first run back since the race in Italy. But as far as the conclusion goes, I personally think that the one call system worked really well out there on that run and actually a lot better than I thought it would. Having used similar types of system uh, on other shoes in the past, I thought it was a real hard thing to achieve creating a dialed closure system that you can fit yourself to most pairs of shoes but it looks like the guys from one call have pulled it off once i got running in the shoe the upper still felt nice and comfortable and i thought i might be able to notice the guys that i pushed through the lace eyelets or maybe even the dial system on the tongue but I didn't feel any of it and actually the upper felt exactly the same as it felt before in the endorphin speeds with standard laces in. Once I tightened that dial down, pulled those cords through, I had a really good lockdown around my midfoot, good hold in the heel, no movement in that upper at all, but it didn't feel sort of constricting or like I'd over tightened it in any way. I've got to say it, it actually felt very similar to some of the other shoes that I've run in that came with a sort of dial closure system already worked into that upper. So just as comfortable and just as secure. I've got to say it, I think a black system would have looked better in my endorphin speeds, but that's obviously just a style thing. And we actually went with the white color option so that it would stand out a bit clearer on camera for you guys at home. As far as performance, it passed with flying colors. So very easy to install into the shoes using that step-by-step -step guide. Again, it looks like it's been really well thought through, really well designed and very durable. So it's gonna hold up to all the wear and tear that we put our running shoe laces through. So if like me, you've tried a trail shoe in the past with a dial closure system and really got on with it, and you'd like to put it in a pair of road shoes, or you'd just like a similar system in another pair of trail shoes, then I would definitely recommend checking out the one called Custom Closure Kit in a bit more detail because I've been really impressed with how it's performed. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the kind folk from OneCore have actually given us two custom closure kits to give away to one lucky viewer. So we've got a black kit and a tinted kit, uh, one for your road shoes, one for your trail shoes maybe. And all you have to do to have a chance of winning is obviously subscribe to this YouTube channel, Run For Adventure, pop along to Instagram and follow Run For Adventure and the One Call page there. And then under this picture in our Instagram feed, you need to tag in two of your running buddies. We're gonna be picking uh, one winner at random in two weeks time so you haven't got long so get in the mix and you could be walking away with two very cool custom closure lace kits for your
your running shoes. So there you go, folks. Something a little bit different in today's video. And it's always exciting at the channel when we get to test out new products to market and maybe showcase products that you guys haven't come across before. And especially when they work so well. So really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. It really is appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Okay, so that is the test run done with the one call dial custom system. And I've got to say, it's actually worked really well. I've been very comfortable in the shoe. There's a siren going off behind me. Typically, whenever I want to film, I don't know. Let's go again. <laughs>